UK off-grid living, here is how it can be done. Modern living can be difficult at times. So many people all over the world choose to start living a new way of life, the off-grid lifestyle. Basically, off-grid living means to live on your own without being connected or dependent on urban infrastructure. You produce your own power, use your own water source, and maybe even grow your own food. Is it possible to live off the grid in the UK? The short answer is yes, you can live off the grid in the UK and start experiencing a free and independent life. More than that, living off the grid also means you save a lot of money in the long run. The environment will supply you with energy, heat, water and food. There are challenges along the way. The transformation to this new life can be different and may even seem impossible. However, many people around the world did it and they fully embraced this off-the-grid lifestyle, despite the difficulties. So, here is how it can be done in the UK as well. What does it mean to live off the grid? There is an initial investment to be made and hard work to be done in order to get everything up and running. But at the end, you will achieve your dream to live off the grid in the UK. Living off the grid means that you will probably spend a lot or most of your time outside, in nature, it will be disconnected from urban life and infrastructure. You will need to produce your own power, have a water source and purify water if necessary, maybe grow your own food and know how to deal with waste and sewage. You will need to be ready and know how to handle unexpected situations such as the bad weather and how to repair, fix and build things on your own. You will be the one responsible for the maintenance of your new off-the-grid home and surroundings. You will need to be ready and comfortable with being on your own and with your family only. Friends can be far away, but you can still be in touch via off-grid internet, so you're not entirely disconnected from the modern world. Advantages of off-grid living 1. Healthy life, away from pollution, noise and stressful urban lifestyle. 2. Saving a lot of money in the long run, as you will have no more utility bills. Three becoming more responsible for your environment, independent and peaceful. 4. Living in a remote, natural place that is stunningly beautiful. 5. Becoming self-sufficient as you live in a self-sustainable home. Starting your off-grid living. The steps to make this dream come true include the following steps. Finding and choosing a location, planning permission, having power source, having a source of water, heating the home, providing or growing your own food, setting a drainage and waste disposal system. You need to find land that is both affordable and suitable for off-grid living. If you live in the UK, consider buying a piece of land for your own house. However, don't forget to check if you still need to pay console tax that correlates to the size of your purchase lot. Check the local laws to avoid accidentally breaking them. Consider the following when deciding on a type of a land. Woodland can be a very good option, since wood can be a fuel source as well as a building material. Arable land is fertile land that allows you to grow food on your own as well as raise livestock. And last, you can choose a location that is near a water source, as there is no life without water. Fresh water is crucial for survival, so prefer a location near a stream, river or well, and remember to purify the water if needed. Planning permission. If you plan to live the off-the-grid lifestyle in a static caravan or a yurt, then you don't have to worry about planning permission. But if you're planning to live in a permanent home, then you would need to go through the UK planning permission system. Planning permission is required in the following cases. When you're planning to build something new, when you want to make a big change to your building, when you want to change the use of the building. Power source. You can live off the grid and still enjoy the modern lifestyle. This means using your TV, laptop, microwave, refrigerator and any electrical appliances you wish to operate and use. The most popular choice to generate power when living off the grid is by installing solar panels on the roof of your new home. Bear in mind that you will need batteries to store this energy. Some homesteads use wind while others use water power to generate electricity if they are close to a water source, although the setup can be quite expensive. 
Water. Living near a water source allows you to enjoy water for drinking, cooking, washing, and basically living. When this is not possible, your options for water sources can come from rainwater and bore water. Naturally, you should purify and sterilize the water before consumption because it can be contaminated. Collecting rainwater is always a possibility, but you will probably need an underground water tank to collect the water and then filter it using a special system. This setup can cost £10,000 or more. As for a borehole, you will require a geological survey. Fortunately, there are services and companies in the UK that arrange such a survey and even drill the borehole for you. Heating Heat pumps are probably the best option efficiency-wise when it comes to heating your off-grid house. It operates by taking the underground heat, but it's also possible to take the heat from the outside, bringing warm air into the house. Other heating options include biomass, which means burning wood or using organic matter, and thermal collectors, or purchasing portable heating appliances and products. Food. To truly live and feed off the grid, you may want to grow your own food. You can grow vegetables, fruits, grains, raise livestock for the purposes of dairy products and meat, build a coop and more. But that's a topic for a whole new video, however, we have covered this topic thoroughly on our blog. Drainage and Waste Disposal You must have a plan for disposal of waste. An improper disposal not only damages the land, nature and environment, but can also lead to fines. Common and popular ways to dispose of waste 1. Composting toilet Many of greeters install composting toilets. They are waterless, compact in their size, and do not smell, completely odorless. 2. Sock away This is a simple hole that you dig in the ground. It is filled with coarse stone and rubble, which allows the surface water to percolate back into the ground. The hole should be 1 meter deep. Places in UK to experience the off-grid living. Number 1. Guardsville Farm, Perthshire. The guests in this beautiful place are asked to turn off everything and switch off entirely. There are self-catering options, sleeping cabins for two or a farmhouse for ten. Lights are available thanks to solar power, but there is no fridge. You cook using a wood burner, guest hub or outdoor fire pit. And there is a fold-out sofa bed available for children. The cost from £130 a night. Lagan, Ardnish Peninsula. This is a whitewashed cottage on a private land that is 3,500 acres. You can access it only by sea. The view is stunning, and there is also wildlife that include red deer, white tailed eagles, and seals. There are playing cards and games, but you will be surrounded 100% by nature and its sounds. The cost is 900 pounds a week. Sleeping is up to five in two bedrooms and a cabin. Old Coach House near Lou on the south coast, Cornwall. Narrow tracks as well as winding lanes lead you to Old Coach House, which is an amazing Victorian property. It consists of three bedrooms in a 70 acres of private land. There are also fields and wild gardens for your pleasure, and even a path, although steep, that takes you down to the private beach. Electricity for the fridge and the lights is provided from solar panels and you cook using a gas hub or a wood burner. There is also a home-built wood-fired hot tub. The cost is from £89 a night, up to 8 people. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please like it and subscribe to support our channel. For more information about off-grid living, how much it costs, how to prepare and much more, please visit our site and enjoy our articles on these and other topics. Have a wonderful day.